When you live in a place with little rains, you can increase your chances for harvesting a great crop by ensuring that you capture all the rainfall and that the crop is well fed. There are four things you can do to increase your chances of getting a good crop. Plow before the rains start, plow deeply, microdose your manure, and practice response fertilization. First, plow before the rains start. This breaks up the compacted surface, allowing water to sink in instead of running off the field into the rivers. If you only have three or four weeks of rain, plowing early prevents the loss of precious water that your crops need. Second, plow deeply along the planting line to break the hard pan. This allows rain to sink deep into the ground. When the sun comes out, the deep soil will remain wet while the topsoil dries quickly. The roots will then grow deep and reach the moisture. You can modify your plow for deep tillage by removing the share and mold board and replacing it with a spike made of high density steel from your local blacksmith. To plow deeply and break the hard pan, it is important to go along each planting line twice. You do not need to plow between the planting lines. If tractors are common in your area, then you can achieve the same result with a chisel plow. Third, you need to get the most out of your manure or fertilizer by doing what is called microdosing. Place a handful of manure every foot along the planting line, then place the seed five centimeters away from the manure. This ensures that all your manure feeds the roots of the crop. Broadcasting manure means less food for your crops and more for weeds. This is like throwing money away, and you would not do that. Fourth, if you live in a place where the start of rain is unreliable and seeds don't always establish on the first planting, then you can reduce the risk of wasting money on fertilizer by practicing response fertilization. This is when you wait for the seedlings to have two leaves and then apply fertilizer close to the plant. To do this, use a stick to make a small hole five centimeters from the seedling, then place a half bottle top of fertilizer in the hole and cover it with soil. This saves money because you only use fertilizer on established plants. And, if the rains fail, you can choose not to buy fertilizer at all. Use your fertilizer or manure carefully, like you use your money carefully. These practices can be applied with maize, legumes, or other crops. They will give best results if combined with improved varieties that mature early. To succeed, we need good varieties, good water management, and good crop nutrition. By using these four approaches, you will ensure that your crops benefit from all the rain that falls and all the manure or fertilizer that you invest in. This will get better crops more often and reduce the risk of failure. This means more food and money for your family and less worry.